Okay, so this today is January 17th, 2023. This is meeting of the Underhill Natural Resources Inventory and Mapping Committee. This meeting's being recorded and held entirely online. And there are no public present for public comment, so we can dive right into our agenda, which let me find. I think up first was an update on the NRI, and I got a very brief update from Michael at Arrowwood, who says things are underway, but not underway enough that um, they couldn't add in phase two for a cost savings. What they've done so far is they have done the land cover mapping for the entire town, and so they've um, mapped into land cover classes, ag forestry, different types of um, forest, for example. And that's the base layer, he says, for all the natural community mapping, which, and Michael has started that process, beginning with the wetland natural communities and the upland natural communities. So that's the brief update from Arrowwood with the addition that because they haven't done any field work, they have nothing to report and they, should we have funding in hand for phase two, there would still be a cost savings for us because they wouldn't have to complete two separate reports. Oh, I've forgotten. Um how much would we be saving by combining them it's actually not that much it's about twenty five hundred dollars which is significant for the small budget but in the yeah it's not a lot a lot of dollars and did we i've forgotten did the select board say no to doing the whole amount or, or did they say no to coming back with another proposal for the difference to have it done all together in one um, report? Or did they say, did anyone say no, ARPA funds couldn't be used for it? So, <laughs> they, so this select board wouldn't fund the full proposal. So they funded yeah. it in phase one. Then when we went back to ask for more money for the cost savings and to get it done all at once so we could move forward um, with the town plan and some land use mapping. They directed us to the ARPA committee, which formed in the summer. Mm -hmm. And the ARPA committee, I thought that was going to be a fast process. Mm -hmm but they are accepting applications through the end of this month. And then I don't know when they'll have a decision for us. So I applied to the ARPA committee for phase two funding based on um, a budget estimate that I received from Michael. And I just lost my train of thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, the ARPA committee recently reached out to me and said, well, they didn't say, they said, we see that you are um, a line item in the 2023 town budget, which will be voted on at town meeting day. So you don't, they didn't say you don't qualify for the ARPA funding, but it was a question. But the budget that's in the in the line item is like a number from three ish years ago, which is I think it's about twelve thousand and like everything things the phase two is more expensive and it's Michael's budget for phase two was almost $17,000, which is what we asked the ARPA committee for. So I need to work on figuring out between the town and the ARPA committee. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I should be asking for money for and um and who will be faster? I responded to the ARPA committee saying that the select board had directed us to apply to the ARPA committee, which is what we did, assuming that it would be faster and maybe even last fall we would have had a decision in hand. But now if I mean town meeting day is what six seven weeks away so that might be faster than the arpa committee but it's not enough money though and we couldn't start spending it until july 1st okay okay i remember there was some discussion about um the planning commission was going to kind of go to bat for us as well as that part of Am I, th am I imagining that was there was discussion of that or? Um... Yes, and I can provide a little bit of background on that too. So the planning commission put together a list of priorities based on the town plans, recommendations, and gave that to the select board with the understanding that that would then go, I guess it was unclear, but with the understanding that that would go to the ARPA committee and that's what the ARPA committee would work off of. And so Brian and I went to the ARPA committee's meeting last Monday because it, you know, we were surprised by that townwide mailer. And yeah. it turned out like they'd never seen that list. And if the town, if the planning commission has things that we want to prioritize, we should be filling out applications too for all those projects. Oh, so I okay. think it was good that we attended because yeah. there was a little game of telephone going on that right. we were unaware of yeah okay. so. yeah <laughs> um yeah so that's where we are okay. does anyone have suggestions on like should i call brad get clarified on what's being what's the line item being proposed for town meeting day and then a path forward yeah i i would do that um there there was a what we were using before was a line item that said mapping um and i know brad is interested in using some town money to to do a remapping of, um, I forget um, what it is. It, is it a LIDAR thing or it's an up, update anyways on our, uh, on our like really high quality, high resolution mapping. Um, so if it says natural resource inventory, that's one thing. If it says mapping in general, it, it may mean that. Um, part of it towards that. So it might be good to talk to him about that. And um, he also would be able to say like, you know, should we put in for 5,000 through ARPA to make up the difference between what's in the budget and what isn't? And would that be enough to get um, Arrowwood started and then we can pay the rest you know, maybe in portions and use a different pot of money uh, later on. I know it makes it more complicated, but still it would get the job done. Okay. Thank you. That's helpful. Okay. Any, I know, uh, Michael didn't provide much of an update, but does anyone have questions, specific questions for them? Mm. Can he finish by September? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's going to depend on when they get phase two funding, right? I know, I know. Yeah. 
I mean, before, if we can get that money before field season starts, which if you're going to do like Verona Pool, anything Verona Pool would need to be April ish. Well, who knows these days? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could be February. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Well, it is a short agenda today. I wanted to check in on the big tree contest and make a plan for more announcements and publicity and community outreach. Well, the big tree contest announcement is on the town website on the first page. Yeah. With links. Um, there has been, I have not posted in Front Porch Forum. I do not, I don't think I did that. Um, I can repost, I can post it in Front Porch Forum as well. Um, and the end was... date is the last, like the 28th or 29th of February, correct? Did we decide on that? It, it's, I can't, it's somewhere, yeah. I think it's. It, I think okay. that's right. Um, I can look it back up in the minutes, but it might be on the front page of the town. I just uh, yeah. let me see. I could look on myself. Oh, my um, well, I just checked the the Google form, <laughs> and no one has posted anything yet. Ooh. on yeah. that is okay so maybe we could take turns karen if you could post on from porch forum weekly once a week what do you think um and maybe you know, uh, you know what actually there is no deadline on the front of that announcement just looking at it on the town website so it might be on the form but i can post oh oh it says deadline is february 15th yeah i do remember that now yeah because we wanted a couple weeks before town meeting day to compile results and okay. which i guess yeah, is coming up <laughs> three weeks Way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll post it again. I'll post on Front Porch Forum. And I you can say we have local prizes. I've been getting some. I'll get back on it. I dropped the ball. So local prizes, um, kids prizes, and adult prizes. Because we made a kids category. And the form is how to and form. Yeah. Plus form is on the you know, I didn't put anything about the kids on here. I'm sorry, I missed that one. Um, so I can update the form. Um, the kids category was just any big tree by a kid. Yeah, yeah it'll be a separate ranking for like the biggest tree found by a child. Hmm. The biggest in each of those three categories, you think? I think so. so look, let me see if I can find the minutes. I'll try to look that up. You know, I'm looking at this now. I'm doing this on my cell phone, but I don't think that the link to the form is working. I'll have to go. Let me see if I can. Uh... Um, let's see, it just it just opened for me. Oh, it did. The link yeah. to the form. The link from the town town's web first page of the town website. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess if we, I'm assuming no one has obviously turned in a form so maybe not even looked 
at the contest rules. So we could push that date out a little bit if we're comfortable with that to give people more time. Does anyone know when Feb break is? It's around the 27th or 8th, somewhere in there. Oh, I that's think. right. It's right the week before. Whatever that Saturday is. Right, the week before town meeting. So that would be cutting it too close, right? Because that would be a good time for people to get out with their kids and measure trees. Right. Mm -hmm. And we don't, I mean, the only reason I think we decided on that was so we could announce winners at town meeting day, but day, but we don't have to do that. You know, we didn't, we didn't do that last year. We didn't have a town meeting last year either, but, um, Right. I think that would be kind of fun to announce it. I do too. It gives us some visibility to the project. A little. Yeah. yeah. It is only a only a month, and it would happen before that February vacation when people might be able to get out and do it. But, Mm -hmm. Did I just mute you? No. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just looked at the meeting minutes and we didn't say anything about a kid's category. We have a deciduous, coniferous, and white ash categories. Since no one has really done it and the date is so quick you know, maybe we should extend it to the summer or something so people can actually get out and do it. We can announce it at, um, and we can announce last year's winners, and that would maybe um, encourage people to get out and do it. Mm -hmm. Is there like a summer event like the Blueberry Social or something similar that a lot of people come out to where we could piggyback off of something already happening to announce the winners? Well, Green Up Day, but that's in May. They also had eat those food truck events, which were, mm -hmm. I, I think, pretty popular. Um, that's yeah, the only other kind of social yeah. community thing I can think of. Actually, I think that's sort of a good idea because there are a lot of kids there. And maybe that would inspire them for the next time if we had it again a, a third time. And if we were really quick about it, we could announce the winners and already have the categories for the next one so that we could actually, people would have time in the fall to start it and then we would be in time for a town meeting next, next year. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if, if we are thinking about the food truck event, uh, the First one, I believe, is, I think, June. Um, so we could actually announce the ongoing contest in June, and then that would give people another month that had never heard of it. And then we could announce the winners in July and say, these are the winners. And for next year, you know, um, these are the categories or this is how it's going to work. Um, cause the, the food trucks are June, July, August, and September. Mm -hmm. Um, so we could use a June food truck to give people one more one month warning. And you, like you said, there are a ton of kids there for those events. Yeah. There the are families. Yeah. 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 So. So did we want to add in the kids um, contest as well? Yeah. For this 
time? Okay. Yeah. Since we're kind of revising it anyway. <laughs> And so for the kids, do we want to do decisions coming first, white ash, or do we just want to say overall biggest for kids in the kids kids category? I think the differences in the, the different species would be good. Only because I mean that helps them to learn. The biggest pine is quite different than a maple. You know what I mean? It's Right, and then there's three prizes for kids and three prizes for adults, and yeah. Yeah, so that would be, yeah. Would we have enough prizes? Yeah. yeah. So we're not, are we going to do... In each of the three categories, is it is the prize just for the biggest deciduous or the top three biggest deciduous Ooh. in both kids and adults? Uh, so that would be three, six, nine. That'd be 18 prizes, right? Yeah. Which, you know, I don't mind going to palmers and spending 20 bucks on they've already given us i can't at least half a dozen uh creamy certificates like i could get i don't know how many 10 more i'd be happy with a creamy prize <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there are, there are other prizes there are pies maple syrup i was going to ask um the pizza place oh we could ask the um, Jericho Market, not Market, Country Store for cream meats prizes. I'm so happy to that, donate. that would be 18 prizes. I'm happy to donate a, either a Christmas tree or a, or a uh, some chestnut trees or something too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So 18 prizes? Mm, yeah. Well, <laughs> Karen's like humming, humming on. No, I'm just saying 18 prizes, but. If we have well, that many entrants. <laughs> yeah, if we have that many, yeah. You know, actually that might spur people to actually to do it because it's not one prize or two, but there's a possibility of getting a creamy or a box of maple candy or something. You know, that would be just good. Yeah, I think we could we could or, base or, it on how many how many entrants we get, you know. Yeah. Not sure we'd have to decide that tonight, but just announce that there will be prizes for the top. I don't know, whatever. Top winners. <laughs> categories. In all yeah. categories. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I like that plan. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe, you. and so this is related. Um, a fellow by whose name I'm currently not remembering has written um, a Big Trees of New England book. His name Kevin. is Ken Brown, is it? Ken Brown or something like that? Or Kevin, let me just check. Kevin. Um, but I re he did a presentation for Northern Woodlands down in Lyme, and I saw the announcement. His name's Kevin Martin. Oh, that's and him. I reached out to him, and he would be happy to do a presentation um his fee would be 325 because it's a long drive and he'd have to stay over um it's possible we could host him here at the bmb if he wanted to but that could be a good kickoff for the contest nice yeah that'd be cool now we don't have a budget karen does does the cc have any speaker budget remaining um, yeah, well, I, I brought up Kevin's name um, as one of the 
we do have a budget. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be 325, but um, we, I mean, that's on our list. The only um, <clears throat> barrier is to, and I think this has all changed because we're changing the dates of everything, to actually have him come between now and February, the end of February. So as long as we um, have more wiggle room as to when, um, that's one of the, the we've included it on the speaker list. Um, like the other ones are jumping worms with Yosef uh, Gores from UVM, and that's free. Carbon sequestration and that, with uh, Alexandra Kozevra, Kozevra. And that she's, I think, uh, works for the state. So I'm assuming that's free. <laughs> we have Bird Diva again, because apparently that was a huge success. I missed it, but um, she's expensive. Um, and uh, we had a, a request for monarchs and butterflies again. Um, and that would be, wouldn't that be Kent McFarlane? And that's not firm. That was somebody that actually is not on the committee that called in to inquire as to whether we might be doing something about that. Um, so that's a maybe. And we're also thinking of um, having a, a, a presentation with Sue Morse. And the difficulty with that is she would... It's, I think it's out of our bandwidth. She would like us to recruit other organizations to help and have a huge showing of maybe to 500 people over the, you know, a webinar. And we, as a conservation commission, really can't handle that. And I think our town limit for the GoToMeeting app is maybe 95 people. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're a little limited. So those are the ones that we are doing, and um, except for Sue's, it's a maybe. So, but there was quite a bit of interest in um, um, the trees that you had proposed. I just didn't get back to you, and I'm sorry. No problem. Yeah. And it sounds, but you said by the end of February. But we don't have, I mean, by the end of February, it was going to be a barrier for us to do. Got it. So if we have more time, um, you know, yeah. we, we kind of spread out our events, then we know that uh, Dr. Gores is, is going to be at the end of March. And we know the Bird Diva is going to be mid-May. And we know that um, okay. the, oh, actually, we have another one in March. It's the uh, carbon sequestration with Alex. Um so we have some dates, but if we can like have the appreciation for our forests or something either late April or maybe in May, I don't there know how, whatever, it's just, yeah. Are you gonna, are, are you guys uh, doing the plant sale and swap again? I think so, although we um, had a modified one last year, but we, you know, I think we're, I mean, we're going to do something. Yes. Just wondering if you could revolve it around that somehow. Um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You yeah, know, that, that's a good part, uh, a good suggestion. I know it's a Saturday and Saturdays are not great for speakers as far as attendance goes, especially if it's a nice day, but. Um, and this, oh, it would be, a, I was going to say with uh, Ethan Tapper, we had almost 60 people to, to look at identifying trees yeah. last year. Um, but I think you're right. Um, it might be something for mud season or are you thinking of a, a, an evening or a, a weekend, Val? Had you considered I, when? That's uh up to the group. Are weekends gen or evenings generally better attended than weekends? I 
I don't know. Um, we've had the webinars have been incredibly sec uh, successful, but they've been evenings. Um, the weekends, I think it depends upon the weekend and the weather. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's the issue. Yeah. How about piggybacking on one of the uh, the soup bowl evenings that they've been doing? Um, that might be a good event. Mm -hmm. When are those? Soup and speaker, you know. <laughs> that, that I, would... I don't know about those. Uh, um, is that that's not really a town uh, hosted group, is it? I, I don't know. Is it? I'm not well, sure. I, well, uh, it's not an official group, but they use right. the town hall and they just ask people to bring a bowl, basically, right, and some dessert, yeah. and and that might even enhance that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Who does that? that? I'm in the dark. I don't know. Um, well, they, Betsy Chapik and I can't think who the other person is, are the spearheading it. I think it's an, an attempt to have uh, winter activities and drum up community. Yeah, we, and, our yeah. family's gone to one or two in the past. It's fun. Um, yeah. It's just yeah. people just, it's like once a month. January, February, March, maybe, or maybe might be later than that. I don't know, but yeah, it's cool. You just show up and everyone brings, or I think they provide the soup and then you just bring your bowl and it's just a good community event for something to do in the winter and see neighbors yeah. and friends. And um, I would love to combine that. That sounds like yeah, a great I'll, I'll ask if that, if people are meant to ask Betsy, but she thinks about it. I think she'll okay. probably love it. Okay. Yeah. Find out what her February and March dates are, and then I can run those by Kevin. Yes. Or we could do a, a mud season soup, soup and mud. soup and big trees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mud season. Yeah. Be, so yeah. that would be probably Soupy March, mud. although we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be April. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is as soon as the weather starts getting nicer and the days start getting longer, people aren't going to go inside because they'll be so excited. Right. Yeah, that is true. Right. So maybe we should uh, try for March. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Ryan, is it Sundays or Saturday? I think, I think it's, it's Sunday. Sunday evenings. Pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I, I know I've seen it posted, but I can't remember if it was on Front Porch Forum or yeah, I think it was. I think that's where I saw it. Wait a minute. I can uh, maybe I can look at the town um, calendar. And take me a minute. Okay. Okay, Soup Bowl is January 22nd. Let's see the next month. It is February 19th. And in March, it's March 19th. And there is not one for April. Okay. So maybe March 19th, do you think? Or February? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. worth a shot if he can do it and if we have the money. <laughs> and is that in person, Val? It is. That would be in person. I'm wondering if he would uh, permit us to actually um, also kind of live stream it. We did that with the Abenaki uh, talk that was last year. It was, it was, um, except that was not in person. But maybe he'll let us tape it and stream, or just stream it, so more people could come if they couldn't come to the. Yeah. Do you think that will cut into the people who will come in person? 
Oh, I don't know. Hesitation. Yeah, it might. How many people, Ryan, usually come? Looks like a lot of cars in front of the town hall. Yeah, I want to say when we were there, there was like maybe 30 people or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'll check with Betsy um, this week and hopefully get back to you soon. As soon as. Oh, I can... what time does that usually start? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here. And would it be before or after that he'd speak? I think it would kind of be. Whoops. It is. It starts at five. Oh, okay. So, and I don't know how long does it last, an hour or an hour and? I think so, yeah. An hour, hour so. Hour and a half, yeah. Yeah, so then would he be willing to speak that evening? Where, where does he live? He would stay over, which is why the rate is high. Um, he lives somewhere in New Hampshire, I think, southern-ish. Oh, okay, so it's about three hours away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll uh talk I'll email Betsy about it. Okay. Talk to her first and then email her. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Great. Yeah. I'm um, glad to learn it from soup bowls. Now, um, next year. Uh, I wanted to ask you though about how, uh, if you had any thoughts about doing uh, tracks, tracking animal tracks in the snow or anything. I think you did that last spring. Yeah, I yeah, I did it twice, and I was thinking about it today. I don't. I have to travel for work next week, and unfortunately, a friend just died, so I'm going to be off to Switzerland for a long time to take care of his widow uh so i don't know when i'll be back like it, i'll be back in march so if there's snow i would be happy to do so but i think most of february is going to be shot for me okay well then perhaps not i mean i don't know if we should start advertising it well, probably not we'll wait we'll wait until the end of february and if if yeah there's going to be snow in March because uh, February is going to be a huge snow month. I'm How do you know? And it predicting. just will. It has to. <laughs> <laughs> Go insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, positive vibes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, I would love to, and if we can hold that thought till a month from now and think about doing it in March. That would be great. Okay. All right. Sounds fair. Yeah. Well, the last item on the agenda is other business. And I have some, if no one else does. Uh, we may be leaving Underhill. Our house is on the market. And if it sells, we will be leaving Underhill, be moving to Southern Vermont so I can be with my mom and my sister and her family and take care of my mom as she ages. Oh. So when that happens, I will step down and you'll need a new leader. And, and where are you moving to Southern Vermont? Um, in the Peru, Weston Langrove area. We don't know. Oh, so that's really Southern Vermont. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. It is. It really is. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, I think we talked about having more people on the committee um, last year and uh, never kind of followed through with it. It might be good to start that so that when you leave, we aren't just you know, left with a meager handful here. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I was reading some notes and Ryan, you were going to talk to Don Toby maybe about it. Um, we had somebody else in mind who didn't want to do it, but there might be somebody new on the planning commission since there are so many new people that would would want to. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and we can use the big tree contest and the field portion of the NRI to drum up interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Or make an announcement at the soup bowl when Kevin comes to talk. Yeah. Oh. Well, I wish you luck on your sale. I'm sad to see you go, or will Thanks. be sad to see you go. Yes. But hopefully it's a smooth process. Thanks. We are. We will be sad to go. As our neighbors say, we don't wish you well on your sale. <laughs> oh. Well, are you are you selling it yourself or do you have a realtor? No, it's we have a realtor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I hope everything does go smoothly. Thank you. Now, I'm thinking of people that have asked me if there are places to buy in Underhill, and I just am blanking on who their names are right now, but I'll be sure when mm -hmm. I think of it to tell them. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much out there. Yeah. Nor in Southern Vermont. <laughs> no, Southern Vermont is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we can end a few minutes early then. Okay, I'll make a motion. The motion. Yeah. I'll, I, I'll move that we end the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. I'll end the recording.